Hello, my name is Richard Foltak. I'm currently Head of Cloud, Senior Vice President, and CISO at Dido, a fast-growing Google partner that helps companies adopt Google technology solutions such as Workspace, Chrome, Chromebooks, Maps, and Google Cloud within their organization. One of Dido's core specialities is security and governance. We work extensively with highly regulated industries such as healthcare, financial services, and government to help our customers build the most secure and restrictive implementations of Google Cloud to meet their specific business objectives. I was recruited to Dido to lead their cloud practice based on my background, experience, and certifications that I had gained at Deloitte Consulting, where I was chief architect and led their effort in building out their cloud managed solution platform across AWS, GCP, and Azure. Prior to Deloitte, I was a distinguished architect at Verizon and was well recognized in the network and security industry for driving automation into data center IT operations. Prior to Verizon, I was a senior technical leader at Cisco Systems, where I worked 17 of my 30 year IT career, helping the company grow and build itself into the dominant network company it is today. Now the question of how I got here is an interesting one. Spending more than half of my career at one company, I learned a few very hard lessons. If you don't take control of your career, others will do it for you. Sometimes that can work out for you, but oftentimes you get locked into a role and position and then potentially disposed of when no longer needed. I was considered a high performer at Cisco and after 17 years was retired as part of a structural realignment. Fortunately for me, my skills and network allowed me to land a great role at Verizon. But that experience highlighted a need for me to take greater control over my career. Both at Verizon and especially at Deloitte, I was, it was made very clear to me that managers, recruiters, and companies view industry and technology certifications with great esteem. As a leader at Deloitte, I felt it necessary for myself to lead by example and knock out a number of cloud certifications associated with my practice. Over time, I kept building and learning and gaining greater certifications to demonstrate my competency across multiple IT practices. This effort has, has helped me out tremendously in establishing both proficiency and credibility within my roles, both inside and outside of my company. It is also the coaching advice I give folks junior to myself who feel that they're stuck at a role. My advice is train for your next role. The opportunity will present itself. Individuals new to certifications need to understand that each certification from companies such as EC Council, Cloud Security Alliance, ISACA, ISC Squared, are based on demonstrating competency to either a specific knowledge or a specific role. CISSP is what I consider a foundation security certification. It is a role-based certification. Although it covers technology-based questions needed to perform at that specific role, it focuses more on operations behavior and engineering best practices. It is generally focused on middle managers or engineers wanting to enter a security leadership role. It tests knowledge at a high level against both standard technologies and also operations models. To answer the CISSP question correctly from getting the right answer perspective, as you will be given multiple correct answers, you should always answer the question as a middle manager a manager who is not ultimately responsible for the decision or operating or governing the enterprise um, operation, but only as someone who has a situation on their hand and how should they proceed moving forward. CISSPs bridge that gap for security engineers and business leadership. But CISSPs are, in the end, not decision makers. They are responsible for helping figuring out how to achieve a business objective. They help run the day-to-day -day and deal with the unexpected. A CISO, however, is a senior leadership role and requires different skills to be effective. 
In the end, a CISO helps empower businesses to succeed. It is a leadership function. In my opinion, to be effective as a CISO requires a good grasp of risk management. For me, I felt it was important to validate my foundational skills before pursuing senior leadership validation. The certified CISO is focused on the skills necessary to govern an enterprise IT practice. This covers more than just security. This covers the governance of an enterprise. That means understanding the regulatory, the industry, and other cybersecurity requirements, along with business objectives and specific technical environmental factors needed to be developed to manage the business-specific operating methodologies and risks. What is important for people to recognize is that a CISO is ultimately the person who signs off on any and all residual risks. They are the ones who often get blamed when things in IT go wrong or certain IT business operations fail. The fact is, you don't need to be as technically skilled as a security engineer to be a CISO, but you need to know how to manage people and risks to be effective at this role. A CISSP is focused on the day-to-day -day practices needed to secure informational technology assets. It is a management and engineering role and looks to attest the skills necessary for those activities. So again, as you look between a certified CISO and a CISSP, they are focused on two distinct roles necessary for an effective operations of an enterprise IT environment. I will be the first to say that getting certification won't necessarily make you good at any role. All it really demonstrates is competency in knowledge of industry best practices or role requirements. Knowing what is best practice is and following best practice are two very different things. I will say that being certified gives you credibility to outside audiences. When people look at you and see that you've been certified to some knowledge or some role, they do interact with you differently. When I was at Deloitte acting as chief architect for cloud, my security counterpart or our CISO and I got into a heated argument over a fundamental principle that we were trying to achieve, but we were at significant disagreement. He point blank told me, get your CISSP and then come talk to me. Well, in all honesty, I already had read the CISSP book three years earlier, and maybe in spite of his comment, I went and just sat the CISSP. And then two weeks later, I sat the CCSP, and a few weeks after that, the CRISC, the CISM, and so forth. The fact is that my fundamental opinions honestly did not change, but I will say that my toolbox expanded extensively. I was better able to communicate in the industry-specific language of that role. What folks often don't understand is that each silo has their own language and principles. You may both think you are speaking English, but you're not. You're not understanding each other because you're coming from the same issue from a different perspective. A key takeaway for me was a NIST principle that basically states you are to build the most secure and restrictive implementation of an information system that meets the business objective. So this is what I use foundationally in security. I key in on that last piece of that statement which says that meets the business objectives. So it's absolutely critical for security folks to understand that you are here to help the business deploy a solution that will help the business grow. These objectives, these business objectives get defined by senior leadership, not you. Your job is to come in here and deploy it in the most restrictive and secure manner possible. I can honestly say that my collection of certifications helped accelerate my career and my salary. I have over 35 certifications across different cloud practices, service management, security, and various industry technologies. 
I can say that this collection of certification has done more for me in my career than say my executive MBA. Although I paid over $100,000 for my MBA and do honestly believe I learned a great deal from that degree, I never felt that it made any direct impact on either my salary or my career. I can say with definity that each certification I earned caused more recruiters to notice and reach out to me. I can say that the certification opened up internal doors within the companies I was with. So I will leave it up to you in terms of impact and positivity. I know for a fact that these certifications, such as the certified CISO, has helped me in my career tremendously. That being said, I do want to highlight the fact that the certification journey has two very different components. There's the learning and there's the third party attestation. You can pick up any book or learning from various certification vendors and just learn the material. But know that your work experience and that personal learning journey will only get you so far. That independent attestation that you have actually gained the proficiency in a knowledge base and skill is really what will allow others to know what you bring to the table. And this is the point I really want to emphasize and encourage people to take on this learning journey, uh, whether it's the certified CISO or others. But this is where I'm basically saying you get what you invest in yourself.